My name is Dr. Ridley and I'm with Twin Cities Orthopedics. Today I will be demonstrating a robotic assisted total knee replacement. I've really liked the addition of this technology as it allows for real-time evaluation of the patient's kinematics and how minor adjustments in positioning of the components can change these movements. I can then use the information to plan the surgery and then the robotic assistance ensures accurate execution of this plan. As you will see in this video, this technology is really a robotic assisted procedure. What I like about this particular technology is that as the surgeon, I'm still intimately involved with the measurements and the decision making, which allows me to maintain a customized approach for each individual patient. An additional advantage of this particular technology is that there's no need for pre-surgical imaging such as a CT scan. This eliminates the exposure to radiation and also eliminates the cost associated with these types of scans. After standard exposure of the knee, sensors are placed in the femur and tibia to allow for tracking of the knee in space. These are then confirmed with the indicator here. Hip and knee alignment are then assessed, as well as the range of motion of the knee. Because there is no pre-surgical imaging such as a CT scan, the bone is drawn out using the stylus here. As the bone is drawn out, you can see the shape, size, and character of the femur showing up on the screen. The tibia is similarly drawn out using the stylus. Again, this allows for real-time evaluation of the overall size, shape, and topography of both the femur and tibia. The knee is then taken through a range of motion while applying medial and lateral stress to the knee. This allows for further assessment of the balance and kinematics of the knee. After all of the data has been obtained, the surgical plan is reviewed and discussed, assessing the alignment and positioning of the components. The plan is confirmed and then executed. Here, the robotic assisted burr is utilized to perform the initial femoral cut according to the plan. The sensors on the burr allow for safe cutting of the distal femur according to the plan. Only bone that is designated to be cut by the plan will be cut by this motorized burr. After the distal femur is then cut, the appropriately sized cutting guide is applied and standard cuts are made with the oscillating saw. Prior to performing any cuts, the plan can be confirmed with this sensor to ensure that the execution of the plan is accurate. Standard cuts are performed with the cutting block. This is one advantage of this type of system in that if there is any error or disruption of the robotic assisted technology, standard cuts can be performed and conventional knee replacement can be performed without any difficulty. The sensor is then used to align the tibial cut guide, which is then pinned into place and the plan can be confirmed again with the sensor. The tibia is then cut again in the standard fashion with an oscillating saw. The cuts are then initially checked with a spacer block to confirm appropriate spacing and overall alignment of the knee. Trial components are then temporarily fixed to the femur and tibia and range of motion is assessed. Now utilizing the robotic technology, I can use real-time assessment to obtain feedback on the range of motion and overall balance of the knee.
information on range of motion, balance, and alignment of the knee is assessed to confirm we are happy with the end result of our plan. The final components are then implanted and secured. And again, range of motion and stability is tested. Now the capsule and soft tissues have been closed, again, confirming that we are pleased with the range of motion, balance, and movement of the knee. Postoperatively, the patient can now begin their physical therapy with range of motion and weight bearing as tolerated.